Yesterday marked the first time in more than a year that the Storm Prediction Center issued a high risk for severe weather in parts of the country. Last month also had the second most tornadoes ever recorded with 300 in the U.S. So is this all normal spring weather or is climate change influencing the tornado outbreaks? NBC's Chase Kane explores the connections. The U.S. has more tornadoes than anywhere else on Earth, more than a thousand every year and they can strike with only a moment's notice. Oh my gosh. Compared to other weather events, tornadoes are geographically small and brief, and computer models, which simulate the effects of climate change, you can think of them like a fishing net. It has holes, so it's only gonna catch fish of a certain size. In this case, it's weather events, which are larger or longer lasting, like a drought, heat wave, or a hurricane. And if a tornado is as small as a pen, then a climate model is gonna struggle to catch them. But research is still showing connections, like when tornadoes form, where they form, and for more intense supercells, the storms which often produce tornadoes. We know that the environments that favor strong thunderstorms and tornadoes are projected to become uh, more common in the future. John Nielsen Gammon is the state climatologist for Texas and studies the connections between climate change and extreme weather. Tornadoes seem to be coming more in large outbreaks and fewer, more isolated events. Outbreaks are when one system spawns multiple tornadoes, and those cause roughly 80% of all deaths from tornadoes. Another deadly factor is where they happen, as Tornado Alley has trended east over the last few decades. Fewer in Texas and Oklahoma, more along the Mississippi River, and farther north into Wisconsin. That's getting into a higher vulnerability region. Bigger cities are in the path of these storms. You also have a higher density of manufactured housing as you get into a lot of these regions. So if people think, oh, I don't live in Tornado Alley, I don't need to worry about tornadoes, and suddenly they're in the path, of more frequent tornado events that can catch a lot of people off guard. Catherine is a senior meteorologist at NBC News and experienced storm chaser. She also notes the danger with more tornadoes happening at night when people are asleep and more often during winter when people aren't thinking as much about severe weather. As we have this trend of warming, think weather doesn't care what the calendar says. As long as the atmosphere looks like spring, smells like spring, feels like spring, it could produce spring-like weather, which could be in the form of tornadoes. In New York, I'm meteorologist Chase Kane.